Hello and welcome to episode 39 of Buxton Barrowman, where I talk about Buxton and usually clean up the town at the same time. Today I thought we'd have a quick look at the Slopes, a grade 2 listed park right at the heart of Buxton. Located opposite the Crescent Hotel, the Slopes, formerly known as the Terrace, was designed by Geoffrey Wyattville in 1811. But you guessed it, the Duke of Devonshire. This being William Cavendish, the 6th Duke. Geoffrey Wyattville was a very well-known architect back in his day, and he primarily designed castles and stately homes, even including an extension to Windsor. The concept of the slopes was to take the barren hillscape of St Anne's Cliff and transform it into a pleasure ground for the Crescent Hotel, which overlooks the site. In 1787, prior to the slopes' construction and the opening of the Crescent Hotel, Major Heyman Rook uncovered a long section of Roman town wall from Roman Buxton, believed then to be called Aqua Arnamente. This wall is now beneath the landscaped hillside of the slopes. Rook also documented details of the base of the temple in the same area, overlooking the site of the baths and springs. The temple was dedicated to the water deity Arnamentia, the same one the name of the settlement derives from. It had a shrine room set on a rectangular podium with a columned portico at the front. Unfortunately, at that time, this predates cameras, and nobody drew what was found, so it is a bit of a shame that we can't see what it used to be, and I'd love to see a bit of Roman Buxton, especially a wall or a temple, but alas. Over time, the slopes have changed a fair bit, and a redesign took place in 1859, led by Sir Joseph Paxton. It's not noted what these changes were, but I believe before this, the wonderful and now grade 2 star listed 18th century limestone urns were installed around the terrace. These came from Lonsborough Hall in Yorkshire, which was inherited by William Cavendish who decided in 1819 to knock it all down. A decision he was quoted to say that he regrets, and I assume he had some type of attachment to these urns and saved them. Of course, they eventually made their way to Buxton and onto the slopes. The next major change to the slopes is the addition of Buxton's War Memorial. Now a Grade 2 listed structure, the memorial was constructed in 1920 and now commemorates those who bravely fought in both world wars and whom did not return. The memorial consists of a beautifully made ashlar limestone obelisk, fronted with a bronze statue of winged victory, originating from the Roman personification of victory. And victory holds a sword and a laurel wreath. The sculptor being Louis Frederick Roslin, a well-known sculptor for memorials to the Great War. The last major thing on the slopes to talk about is this box. It's a climatological station and it's one of the oldest in the UK. Originally built beside the dome in 1865, it was then moved to the slopes in 1925 where it still resides today. And just a few things to mention before wrapping up is that the slopes were restored in 1994 supported by EU and English heritage money as well as a recent refurb to one of the urns. Also within the past week, this 
someone has made as a protest, I think. I, I'm not entirely sure. I can't say I'm on the council's side, but I'm also not with whatever this is on a listed public place. Well, that's pretty much it from this episode. Again, I'm still working seven days a week, so I can't clean up. I hope you've enjoyed, and until next time, ta -ra.